Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got girly bits, honky-tonk blues, and I'll be using Maniology M052 Blue Glue and Pumps Stampin' Polishes. I've already got out M IMK Peel Ease, and it's on my nails dry. And here is Honky Tonk Blues from Girly Bits. And here we go. I love this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. It just, for me, it's the perfect. Isn't that pretty? One coat is so cute. I could wear it just like that, but I'm not. Here we go with our second coat of Honky Tonk Blues. And this is the namesake of the collection. It was like the Honky Tonk blues collection very pretty i'm going to top these with i m's out the door and let them dry down and i have a confession i actually wore this just like this for a, a day yeah one day just because i wanted to enjoy it just like it was all on its own capping that little free edge there and here is a swatch photo of it on its own here we go with maniology m052 the French tip plate, and I'll be using the H. La Corsador scraper and a Maniology cube stamper. And here is blue glue from Maniology. We're going to get started with it first. Now, there's a lot of repetitiveness on this video. I mean, I have lots of steps to it because I'm doing like a double French on the end. So, I'm going to use that little piece of tape to get the excess up. I already did my thumb with the first bar of color. We're going to do two colors. This is what I mean by double double French. I'm going to clean off my stamper on the lint roller. I'm going to get out a piece of tape and get that excess up off my skin. I don't know why I worry about it because I'm going to have to do it again when I do the other color. But anyhow, I do clean my plate off sometimes. You'll see sometimes I do, sometimes I don't with acetone. It's just, you know, some people don't do this step. They'll, like, you know, not clean it and just put more polish on it. And I am double stamping the blue. Trying to line it up. But it, I want to make it very opaque on that tip. I don't want it, you know, I don't want it to be missed. I want it to be seen. <laughs> so here we go. We're heading on to the next nail. I do really love this plate, and I am getting more used to it the more I play with it. Just like all of the things of nail art, the more you practice, the more you play, the better you get. Um, and we're going to do a second coat on that one also. So I suggest if you've gotten this one, you've gotten frustrated with it, just don't give up. Keep trying. Here we go. We're moving on to that second one had a little bit extra on there and so I'm just smishing it on there and I know it kind of made like a little blob but it's going to be okay <clears throat> it will be all right and I probably should have done different colors but I wanted to kind of use colors that were in the base color you know some of those flakies or the shimmer or whatever and um, I think I did okay on it it's not my favorite French tip I've ever done but I did really like it. Ended up wearing it all week, so must have liked it enough. <laughs> Here we go with that little pinky nail. Land it. Tap tap. Now, as this um, honky tonk blues dried down, it did get more bumpy, and I know you have probably experienced this before, where you paint it, you polish it, you top coat it. And it's all smooth and beautiful. And then like the next day you realize, wait a minute, it's still bumpy. Okay, so here's pumps from Maniology. We're going to do a skinnier tip. And I'm changing to my monocle stamper and my Maniology scraper for this part. A um, little trickier here because it's a much smaller line. Um, but yeah, if you end up doing that, yeah, I mean, you can just put another coat of top coat on. But... Here at the end of this one, I am going to uh, jump in with, you know, my thick glitter eater polish, but you'll see that later. I just wanted to 
let you guys know that you might experience that. You know, you put the top coat on, it's all smooth and beautiful and perfect, and you think, oh, yeah, I got this. And then the next day, you're like, why is it all lumpy and scratchy? And it, it's just because that uh, glitter eat up that top coat. And I am doing two, I think I do two layers of the pink here also on all of the nails. Not 100% sure. I think so though. But I really like this and, and I could just see so many possibilities with this hair plate. I've never been able to get a French manicure to look good like just free handing or even using the little um, sticky guides or anything. I, I just so far, this hair plate has been the best for me in getting the look that I want. And like I said, the more I play with it, the more comfortable I feel with it. Get that lined up. Ta-da! So it's definitely a funky French. And you guys know I like something that's funky. A little Abbey Normal, you know. I like stuff like that. Uh, um, I think that's part of why I love nail polish so much because you can do so many different combinations and you can take it all the way to the right or all the way to the left. You can get all out of the box. Alright, here we go with some more pink swiping. And this might, in fact, you know, I mean, because I'm watching it here doing the voiceover, it, it is very repetitive, kind of boring. But you guys know, I share all my manicures, even the ones I don't finish. <laughs> but this is what this is. And I did have a request for me to use this one. So I wanted to make sure to get back to this plate and use it again before I forgot that somebody asked about it. But I really do like it. And if you feel like you're a little slower on the stamping trying to line up those French tips especially if you're doing something double like this then you might want to use the sticky stamping polish from She Modern it comes in a whole bunch of colors so I'm sure you could find what you you would want getting all that excess off there kind of being out of frame but we're getting there. We're almost done with this one. We are so getting close. There we go. Tap, tap. All right. So I'm going to clean this plate off really well with some acetone. Wipe it down with a lint-free wipe. Get it all clean so I can put it away. Clean up that little mat. All right. So I'm going to top these with the smudge-free top coat. And once that is completely dry, I mean, like, you know, dry, I'm going to top it with the American Classics Jealous to help fill in some of that bumpiness that I was having. But this is not a fast dry top coat. So once that's dried down a little bit, I'm going to go in with the posh top coat and do my fast dry glossy top coat so I can finish this one up. This one kind of looked a little Easter-y to me. Um, you know, I know Easter is coming up and you could, you know, stamp maybe a little chick or duck or an egg on it or a bunny rabbit and really make it look Easter, but I didn't go there. I just did the French tips. So there is my manicure. I do hope you enjoyed this one. And here we go. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.